Hello and welcome to AZ Fig. Won't you take me in your arms? Won't you take me in your arms? So today I'm going to show you how to make a French bread. We're going to use King Arthur bread flour. We're gonna use tea, two teaspoons of salt. We're gonna use bread machine yeast, rapid rise yeast. Two cups of warm water, and the flour is five and one third cup of the King Arthur bread flour. So I'm just gonna add the salt. Two teaspoons of this yeast. And then I'll just dry mix that real quick. Then I will add this water. You're going to want to mix it with a fork before you turn on the mixer. Just so when you turn on the mixer, the flour doesn't go flying everywhere. I have a ball of dough like this. This recipe is pretty forgiving, so if it's too wet or a little too dry, it doesn't really matter because you're gonna slow ferment it in the refrigerator um, overnight or up to four days. I'm going to take a bag and take some spray, oil spray, and coat the inside of it. I'm gonna take this big dough ball and drop it down inside there. There it is, it's mixed up. I oiled the inside of the bag and then um, pushed it down to one end of the bag, scrunched out all the air because this thing's gonna fill up with air in the refrigerator. So you can let it sit here for a few minutes, a half an hour or so, and then just throw it in your refrigerator and that's it. And then it has to be at least overnight and then up to four days, you, you wanna use it. So here we are the next morning. Um, the dough has been in the refrigerator overnight. And you can see the little air, air bubbles and stuff in the dough. I have a piece of parchment paper that I put down. So I'm gonna take some of this dough, a big chunk, and then you're gonna let this rise for up to four hours on the counter. So if you do it in the morning, then you don't have to worry about it. And then you just bake it when you get a chance later. So just shape it like this. And you can fit a two or three of them in here. And then I'll take this Tupperware container and I'll just set it on top like that to keep it humid inside. I'll, I'll put a couple pa wet paper towels inside there on top of the parchment paper away from the bread to keep it humid inside there. So here we are four hours later. You're gonna wanna turn your oven on as high as it goes. Mine goes to um, 525, but it's fine if it goes a little bit higher because you want it as hot as possible. And the best way to do it is with a pizza stone. And then you're gonna want a meat thermometer with a metal lead like this, and you're gonna wanna pull the bread out when it gets to a 205 internal temperature. I have a pizza peel that I put mine on to transfer to the oven. You don't have to, you can pick it up, but the more you disturb this, when it has um, a lot of air bubbles inside, they will deflate and you, you don't want it to deflate. So right now, I'm gonna take this razor and just put a slice all the way down it. This will let it open up and let all the air pockets expand. There are the air bubbles. It's pretty good. So I'm transferring the bread onto the pizza stone, like so. And I'm gonna let it go for about 15 minutes and then stick my thermometer in it. So here it is, fresh out of the oven. Looks delicious, as you can see. I took the parchment paper out about halfway through and the total baking time was 15 minutes at 525 and I hit 205 internal temperature. So now I'm going to let this bad boy cool down while I make some fig butter. So here's my fig butter. 
I got some butter at room temperature with a dash of pink salt and then some Corio province figs. They're delicious, wonderful, honey butter tasting already. We're gonna go ahead and add them into this bowl. And then I am going to take a fork and I'm just gonna mash these in with the butter. And that's it. So the bread's cooled down for about an hour. It's not as hard as it was. Got a little bit softer. This is what it looks like. Cut this open. That's what it looks like. Get some of this fig butter. There's my French bread with fig butter on it. Mm. The bread is a little bit chewy, nutty tasting. Fig butter. It's fig butter, what can I say? Delicious. So there is my French bread recipe and fig butter to go on top of it. Uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks. Won't you take me